Hey guys, it's Chris, and today we're working on the CDTV. On this episode, I went to the old Sordon.ie, bought myself some new ROMs. I also got myself some replacement front panel cables and the clippy things they sit in. These are the old regular pushpin kind. I made a mistake in my disassembly from the unit when I was removing the front fascia which I will show you in a second. When I was using each individual pin to push on, had I just did some research, you push down on that clip and she pulls right out. Why do I need to do this? Because mine are not in there properly because I didn't know how to get them back in, so I just kind of shoved them in there best I could. So let's pop the top on this. We're gonna put some ROMs in here and do some other magic. I don't know. So as you can see here, we have these three sets of ribbon cables. These are for the buttons, the uh, other, IR controller and other. Now you can see these are just sitting in here. Well these depress down and that allows these crazy funky teeth here to slide in. And that is the problem with these. Number one, I can't see on a good day which is already depressed. See how these are supposed to push down? And the cat hair that's in them is optional. See this thing? This moves up and down well, it's supposed to move downwards to release the spring pressure, and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside here, because these all popped off. It's a double grip spring on both sides, and by pressing this down, it is supposed to release the tension. Yet mine does not. And they, they bend all over the place like a West Virginia toothbrush. And that's why I use the finger poker and just kind of hope to God you get them in the right general spot. And then by pressing down on this unit, which it is already depressed, you can wiggle these supposedly into position and then let go. And they will magically hold. However, they do not. So I just kind of push on them extremely hard and hope for the best. Also, these cables can become quite brittle over time, and when you remove them, they totally screw up. This board that houses the 68,000 right here is a 2 meg RAM expansion board. You can simply pull up on this, give it a wiggle, you have a standard... Uh, SIL turn pin machine socket with your 68,000 on there and two megs of RAM. We have two ROMs even and odd. Here are the new ones. These are uh, two dot something? Seven? I want to say. I don't know. I'll link it in the description below. I hate uh, how these are put on styrofoam and I do not try to force the ROMs out of the bag. I just rip the bag and this has a sticker on it. What does this sticker say? CDTV 3.1 upgrade. License key from Amiga Forever. Well, wonderful. I already have... Uh, maybe that's required? I already have a lifetime license for Cloanto. So, uh, I'm going to remove the odd here. Jannard IC Extractor, link in the description below. Her legs are spread. Ah. So you know what I'm gonna need? Yep. I'm gonna be using my pin straightener here to close her up a little bit. Get this piece of styrofoam off. These are SIL turn pin also, unique. That is in there like that. Two meg board back in. 10,000 lumens of light above my head. And I still can't see anything. We're gonna plug in audio using the Devoom Tivu. If I push on this, I will get my clock. So that's why I was having issues with this connector. Cause it's just garbage. It's total garbage. And uh, yeah, there we go. I have to hold it to get the clock to display. So I was going to try and press down on this and push these pins back in, and there we go. It's just sitting on there by a, a you know prayer and a whistle. 
So I have some new Duracell rechargeables here, which I will be inserting in. Turning the unit on, we should get, I don't know what we're going to get on a screen. CDTV, ROM. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to flip my ROM switch in the back here. I still have my 1.3 ROM in. I could flip that. It doesn't matter. That's okay. All right. So we're back to the CDTV ROM. I'm going to go ahead and insert Amiga 600 video. Brand new cast. There it goes. I still have no display. Oh, now it shows up. CDTV. We're going to see if this works. I'm sure my IR is toast. Prepare yourself for the ultimate home computer. The Amiga 1 Megabyte A600. There. That's a 4x3 PAL resolution. The remote works. I pressed A and it did something. Alright, let's go CDTV. What is CDTV? At least I can press buttons now and watch these. I have all of the CDTV titles downloaded. Amiga CDTV, the world's most interactive, interactive home entertainment system. A teacher, an uncompromising games opponent, a fount of knowledge, a children's coloring book. There are over 100 titles to choose from, offering... Power. Oh, crap, power does turn it off. Let's turn it back on. I just got that dag on disc to load. <laughs> there it goes. I can kickstart it. The Epic Language Pack. Let's go to Features. You know what? What accessories came with it? That's it. Why do you guys spell color wrong? Color. The world's best selling 16 bit home computer. Really? I think the 1200 outsold the 600 just by a couple. <laughs> One meg of chip, two megs of fast. So my switch is in the correct position. Otherwise, it has what? One meg? I should have. Yeah, it's got one mega chip, that's it right here. And then right in front of the old Agnes 8372A. Two megabytes off the 68,000 with this ML3014. Three megs of RAM. That's horrid. How's 3.1 sound? Because it's sitting right here. 3.1 ROM. There we go. Miss Pac-Man. In PAL. With a controller. On a CDTV. Freaking awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. CTV playing Pac-Man. How's it work? Pretty daggone good. Oh, this is quite enjoyable. Retro City. Whoa. Oh, oh man, that was close. Just worried about finishing the, the up is kind of sticking. Oh my god. Crap. Oh! Run, Forest! Yeah, the, the controller's sticking. That's, that's, that's what's going on. Cool. Just like the arcade. Faster. That's level two. Now the board switches to blue. Oh yeah, intermissions too. Just like the arcade. Yeah, blue board. That's very enjoyable on this. Uh, just pressing the button for a joystick or mouse. And uh, that, that's a pretty good experience. It's comfortable, it's ergonomic, believe it or not, it's a big square, but you know, you're, you, can, you can play very comfortably on it. It's spread out enough where you're not getting carpal tunnel. And uh, it's a pretty significant weight. What is this weigh? Let's find out. 183 grams. Not bad at all. Maybe it's the batteries. I don't know. Can it run state of the art? A reset button on the remote would have been awesome. No sound. Overmodulated sound. Cool. Really overmodulated sound. Kind 
should be caps. They're showy original. State of the art, running just fine off of GoTech. So the CDTV is working. The controller is working. My recap job on the CD-ROM is working, but it could benefit from a few more things. One, in the back, removal of the modulator and a SCSI card edition. They're super cheap, like under $4,000. And that will allow me to run external SCSI devices like a SCSI to SD because there's so much room in here in the back. All this is just wide open space underneath for your two expansion boards of which mine are two wires and that modulator board. So a, a SCSI to SD with a little switch to turn it off and on. Use this as another Amiga. I don't know what I'm going to do about a controller port. I'll have to look into that like an actual mouse because finding the proprietary connector keyboard and mouse an IR keyboard may work. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. There's also the Wi-Fi Denise dongle thing that can be done for a keyboard. Mouse, uh, I'll have to see if there's an adapter for a CDTV to Amiga DB9. Maybe there is. I don't know. I haven't really looked. And I'm going to get to the replacement ribbons. So that is all I got for this quick CDTV pseudo-ish upgrade test play, just to see if it's working good. I got the new CDTV extended ROMs. I don't know what they do, but I got them. Apparently they do more math or science than these things. So that is all I got for now. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this helps you, and as always, I hope you learned something.